before going into unit vectors in more details and the position vector as well in different dimensions let us discuss about the coordinate representation by x y and z so today's lecture basically based on a video so we will watch a video and there we can learn something about the x y x z and y z plane and the representation of unit vectors along the axis so let's go through the videos so here as we can see this is made uh, with the help of three matchsticks so I have made this is as x-axis this is y-axis and this is z-axis so this is a three-dimensional representation as you can see this black spots they represent the direction so it is a similar as the arrow so this is positive y this is positive x so this is positive z axis if i ex consider this as my zero point that is the coordinate here is zero 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 then the point any point any point here that means if we look at this one any point here in this first quadrant this will be plus 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 x value is plus y value is also plus and z value is also plus you you are somewhere here that means if we think about the tip of my finger so this is basically in the positive x positive y and positive z quadrant so if we move this if we carefully listen carefully watch the video so basically when I put this one here this is my y-axis this is my x-axis and this is my z-axis now the plane here this plane becomes the xy plane because this plane lie on the x-axis and the y-axis basically this y-axis x-axis is same exactly on the plane this y-axis is also in the plane so this two axis made this plane as the xy plane if we go further if we rotate this one and and we if you wish to make it another plane we can do just like this so here this is z axis and this is y axis this z axis and this y axis lie on this plane so this plane now become the yz plane and if you go further and if you if i rotate further and if i change this one now this is x axis and this is z axis this plane become my xz plane now this y axis if we go down according along the y this will become negative y if i go in that direction this will be negative x and if i go that direction this will be negative z now if i consider this pen so this is in negative z negative y and negative x so this pen lies on the negative x negative y negative z so on the next lecture we will find the eight quadrants using a software that is called GeoZebra. So till then for today I thank you and this is all over. Thank you.